Pionex is a crypto trading bot platform with, we're gonna go through some of the most popular trading bots currently. And I'm gonna show you how they work and how to use them. And then talk about some of the pros and cons of each bot and why you might want to choose one type of bot over the other. We can choose trading bots with relatively little risk or then relatively higher risk, depending on how much we wanna take and how much the potential reward is. Each different bot is listed as a timestamp in the video description. If you do wanna sign up for Pionex, the link is down there as well. You can go over, set up an account, and then navigate the platform before putting any crypto on there. Then you get right over to uh, the homepage. So click that link, go through to this page, and then you can just sign in or sign up. Um, it takes a couple of minutes, and then you can kind of navigate the platform. So once you have signed up, um, you're gonna go through to kind of your, your main screen, and this is the account overview page. So you can see I've got 5,000 USD in here. It's actually US dollar tether that I've got in here, and I'm gonna show you how to implement these bots. So what you can do is actually come over to your, uh, your account right here, um, and then just come over to my balance, uh, and that'll take you through to here. So you've got an overview of all the bots that are running, your profit and loss, and everything like that. Um, also, what we wanna do is actually go ahead and deposit. So we'll come over to deposit, and you can see right here um, that you can deposit US dollar tether, or if you come up here, you can actually click a bunch of different cryptocurrencies to deposit. Um, I would suggest tether because it's the way that you enter into most of the bots, but it supports ERC20, so if you wanna send it over the Ethereum blockchain, or importantly, TRC20, um, and that is the Tron network. You'll pay, you know, like a dollar or less in fees. So I'd recommend that one. You can actually transfer in BEP20 US dollar tether as well. So if you've got Binance, go over to Binance, click on withdraw, and then choose one of those networks. These two are gonna be way cheaper than ERC20. So the first bot we're gonna look at is a grid trading bot. This is when you set a bottom and an upper price and then it's gonna take advantage of volatility within it. So when the price is moving up and down, it's gonna try and set up grids within this to kind of buy low and sell a bit higher. And then when the price moves down, it will buy, move up, it will sell. So let's get into that. We can see, uh, we come to trading bots on the right hand side, you can see all of them listed here down. Grid trading bot, one of the most popular. So if we click ahead on create, um, you can see there's two options here. We have AI strategy and manual strategy. AI is basically just letting it do its thing. Manual strategy is when you set all of the grids up yourself. So to give you an idea of kind of uh, what a grid uh, trading bot would be, um, you know, let's say this is the price of Bitcoin against US dollar tether, right? So, you know, you have a, a, an arbitrary amount of price movements and you can set the grid exactly as you want. So what happens obviously is that when we enter the grid, um, let's say we have an upper bound and a lower bound that we draw here, right? So that's what we want to trade in and we don't want to trade above and below that. Um, let's say the price is at the moment somewhere in the middle, so that's around 98. What the grid bot is going to do is actually set up a, a multitude of grids within this range. So let's say uh, 98 is the price and it buys at 98. When the price goes up to 99, it's actually gonna sell. Um, so what happens, we buy right here and then in red, we sell right here. Now what happens when the price moves back down um, is that you actually, let's say it moves right back down to 98 again, this bid will be refreshed. So what happens is the bid is actually refreshed yet again, right? So. Um, it, it buys it again. Now, if it moves up, it will sell. If it moves down, that will buy another, another chunk. And then if it moves down, you'll buy another chunk. Um, and then what happens is it moves back up, let's say to here, and what will happen is you will actually sell this chunk, um, and then this moves up again, and you'll sell this chunk. This moves up again, you'll sell this chunk. Then when it moves down again, you'll buy some, you'll sell some, you'll buy some, you'll buy some, you'll sell some in grids. So what it's doing, is taking advantage of volatility. The price goes up and down like this, and it can just put in these limit orders, uh, these buy orders and these sell orders in these grids, and when you complete a grid, that is a profit. That is something you cannot do as a human being. It's just, we don't have the, the skill, we don't have the, you know, the speed to do this. That's exactly what these grid bots are doing. So you've got two options, AI or manual. AI, all you have to do is just choose how much you want to invest. So you can see my investment in US dollar tether right here. Um, let's do, you know, kind of 500 bucks or something like that. C uh, click create. Um, now it says use MBTC instead. M stands for like mil, um, so like a thousandth of a Bitcoin, right? So um, if you trade a, a large amount, you'll just be trading in, in BTC and it will, it will show you that. This is basically... Um, 
splitting BTC into thousandths. And so it will, it will um, show you that. You can actually choose between them. It doesn't matter, you're still trading Bitcoin. So it's the same thing, just click OK. Um, and you can see that here. So you can see the pair is, you know, Bitcoin against US dollar tether, the range right here, number of grids and the profit per grid. Um, <clears throat> so you've got 51 grids right here and you can choose, I think, up to about 100 or more. In my experience, using more grids um, is probably better. So anywhere from 50 to 100 is probably good. If you only have t uh, one grid or, you know, two grids, what will happen is that Obviously, you will buy at the bottom and sell at the top, but they will be you know, very far away from each other. And so you won't actually be trading any volatility. You're just basically buying low and selling high and just waiting. That's not what this grid is about. This is about trading often and you know, flicking in and out of trades. And you can see that the profit per grid is 0.41%. Fewer grids, you get a higher percentage profit, but you trade less. More grids, you get a smaller percentage profit per grid, but you are going to trade in and out more. Let's press continue on that. You can see that loading. Um, we'll, we'll get rid of that for now. Uh, and then that will go through for you. So that will start um, trading into grids for you. And it may not trade straight away. It may have to wait a little bit for the price to change and kind of hit some of the grids. Um, but that is it and that will go through. Now manual setting, you can change everything yourself. So you can actually set the lower and upper price bands. So I would set these um, probably quite wide. So let's say 40,000 um, and then just looking at the AI strategy here, kind of 50,000, right? So 40,000, 60,000, sorry, to 60,000. Um, and that would be the bottom and lower. And then the amount of grids that you wanna choose, let's choose 150 right here. You can see the profit per, per grid is very small and the total investment, click create, and that will start trading for you. There are some risks to this. The first one is that the price just drops and never comes back. Um, if that happens, then you will buy a lot and have no positions to sell. What will happen though, is that when the price drops, um, you will buy lots and that's okay. You will actually, in, in a short period of time, it will appear like you've had a loss because you've bought loads of crypto and the price has come down. But as long as the price then just trades in a range, then you're starting to make those profits again and eat back some of the higher prices that you've paid. If the price then moves up again, you'll start selling the grids that you bought up at those prices and make that money back. So. Really, as long as you um, have this grid set up for a long period and um, it, it kind of trades within a range, then you'll just be printing money in those grids. And even if the price drops, as long as it is volatile within that grid again, it will start printing money again. So this is a long term bot um, just for trading volatility over time. Another type of grid strategy that you can use on here is called the Martingale bot. This is a grid trade as well, but it's very different in terms of how it sets out the trades. Um, so we can come over to the same thing. Martingale bot, as you can see here, it says DCA buy one time sell. So um, it's very different to grid trading and it actually compares and contrasts um, the risks and the pros and cons of both in the tutorial. So we'll get onto that. But if we click on Martingale bot, you can see once more, you can use the AI strategy. So just let it do its thing or the manual settings. Really what we have to um, look at here is the price scale and the take profit ratio. This is going to determine the prices that we get in at and also um, the prices that the Martingale uh, bot actually trades at. Um, and that's important because um, where you set these will determine how much risk, how much downside that you can potentially have. So the way that the Martingale bot works, and you can come over to actually the, the tutorial and it, it will show you, um, Essentially what happens is instead of a grid bot where you have a grid and then it just buys and sells all within that grid, a Martingale bot will buy a small amount at higher prices and um, exponentially more and larger bets as the price comes down. So when you are at higher price, you don't, you don't spend a lot. If the price comes down, essentially you just keep adding to your position in larger amounts. Um, the reason why you'd want to do this is because, well, they actually show you, so from a mathematical standpoint, um, adding more at lower prices is mathematically um, going to benefit you in terms of drawdown. So there's still a lot of risk here, um, but if you, just, if you just, let's say, put 10,000 in 
in Bitcoin at a certain price and the price comes down, you'll obviously lose money. With this Martingale bot, essentially what it's doing is dollar cost averaging in at larger amounts at lower prices. So the actual drawdown for the same investment would be less than just investing um, $10,000 at the price that you wanted to get in at. So what, what this is essentially doing is saying, um, you know, we don't know what the price of an asset is gonna be when we buy it, for example, Bitcoin, um, but we can set up a, a bot to essentially take advantage of some price movements and hopefully get us in at some different prices. So it's a dollar cost averaging bot in a sense, but you can also take profits with it as well. This bot really is for long-term investors. So if you're going to get into Bitcoin or Ethereum anyway, and you think, I just wanna hold these for the next three to five years, then having this bot will actually um, enable you to invest over time um, and actually take advantage of buying more when the price drops. So it's something that we would do anyway naturally as a human being to say, I'm gonna buy the dip. This thing is just there for you buying dips um, without us having to do anything. So that's the advantage of the Martingale, but also you can set it to sell as well. The way that you reduce or add risk is by uh, setting the price scale. So you can see here, so with the Martingale bot, you can see the take profit ratio is always at 1% but the price scale changes. So what you can see is that the APR, if you have a price scale of 1%, the potential upside APR is higher, um, but the potential drawdown is also higher. If you set the price scale to say 20%, you can see the APR or the returns that you get are much lower, but the biggest drawdown is also much lower. So you can set this price scale as you wish to kind of take more or less risk and have more potential upside. We are still taking risk and, and taking a directional bet on the asset. So as I said, if you want to buy it anyway, then you might want to use this to get in at better prices, but this is not risk-free. You're still taking risk, risk going long the asset. What we can do then is actually just set the parameters ourselves um, to take as much risk as we want. So come over to either AI or we'll change it with manual setting. So the price scale, this is what we want, right? So we can put maybe 20 to take less risk um, and then the take profit, let's put it at 1%. Uh, and then the amount, you know, how much do you want to invest? Click create and that will start entering into those trades for you. So, you know, take as much or as little risk as you want. We're still going long the asset. So we are still um, taking a directional bet, uh, hoping the price will rise in this case. Next bot I want to look at is the rebalancing bot. This will essentially set up a portfolio of your choosing and then keep the cryptos in that portfolio in the percentages that you want. So, you know, if someone else has a portfolio that you think looks good, if you want to get exposure to gaming or metaverse or DeFi or something like that, you can set all of that up. So come to rebalancing bot up here, click create. Um, and then you can either do dual, dual coin mode, which is just two or multi coins mode. So let's click on multi coins. Um, and then what you can do is actually choose an index, which is an existing um, amount of coins. So if we click on choose index, um, you will see different people's uh, portfolios right here, and you can see how much they're making. Um, so we can see this is essentially a game, you know, GameFi and Metaverse. Uh, we have multi-coin, we have a top 10 coins. And if you just want to get exposure to crypto and say, hey, look, just, just buy me the top 10 coins and, you know, have, you know, kind of the, the top coin as, um, you know, let's say 20%, you know, so slightly more, you know, and then coming down, maybe have a little bit less of the number 10 coin. Um, and then just keep me in that, you know, that honestly, that will really just let you have exposure to crypto and the growth of crypto. It really is that simple. Um, so, you know, click choose right here. You can see all of them. So exactly as I said, you know, Bitcoin and Ethereum are bigger plays. And then you've got, you know, BNB, ADA. Um, you know, I wouldn't put Dogecoin in here personally, but, you know, everyone's <laughs> open to their own thing. Um, and then choose these. And this will literally just, you know, keep the top 10 coins in there for you. And it's a really simple way of just gaining exposure to crypto, not worrying about, well, should I buy this coin or that coin? The top 10 coins are the biggest, best coins, and you can just have them all in a portfolio here. Just go to customize, add new coin. You can click any coin that they support. They don't support, you know, every single coin, but it you know, pretty much is. I think they actually link up with Binance and have an API to Binance. So most of the coins you can get on Binance, you can also get uh, here as well. It's great to just set up a portfolio and just let it ride. 
So that is using Pionex. I think they have a bunch of really good bots um, and you know it just automates trading in many different ways that can definitely help out a lot of traders. If you wanna try them out, you can click the link in the description, go through, set up an account. Um, no KYC for the time being, that may change in the future though. Other than that, more helpful videos will be down in the description as well. I'm James with Money ZG. cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.